looking for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Good morning and welcome to the A6 of Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market looks set to open higher this morning. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.4% gain. Yesterday, the Australian share market closed 0.3% lower to close at 7,468. In business news from this morning now, and Viva Energy today confirms it has received a triple C and FERB approval to proceed with its acquisition of the Coles Express convenience retailing business. Completion of the transaction remains subject to closing conditions with the Coles Group and is anticipated to occur in the second quarter of this year. Viva Energy is one of Australia's leading energy companies and supplies approximately a quarter of the country's liquid fuel requirements. Viva Energy owns and operates the strategically located Geelong refinery in Victoria. ResMed today announced results for its quarter ending 31st of December, showing revenue increased by 16% to $1.03 billion US dollars. ResMed CEO Mick Farrell says during the second quarter, they significantly increased production and delivery of flow generated devices to meet the incredible demand from customers, resulting in strong sales growth in the Americas and solid overall performance for their business across 140 countries. ResMed Inc. is a California-based medical equipment company. It primarily provides cloud-connectable medical devices for the treatment of sleep apnea, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and other respiratory conditions. And Tyro has offered a due diligence to Potentia. Over the past five months, the Tyro board has engaged with Potentia in relation to a potential change of control transaction. During this period, Tyro has been presented with two non-binding indicative offers from them, one at $1.70, sorry, that's $1.27 per share. That was received back on the 7th of September. And the most recent offer of $1.60 per share received on the 11th of December. Now, both of these offers were carefully considered by the Tyro board with the assistance of Tyro's external advisors and were unanimously rejected on the grounds that these offers were not in the best interests of Tyro's shareholders as a whole. Well, it's time for a break now, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's Daily Crypto Catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. Welcome back to the ASX of Breakfast Report. Now, the Australian dollar has hit its highest since June 2022 at 71.242 US cents. That's on expectations. The Reserve Bank will raise the cash rate in February after inflation surged to a near 33-year peak in the December quarter. Local currency stands at 71.16 US cents on course for a weekly gain of 2.1%. Now, in the U.S., markets were relatively flat during the Australia Day holiday. Overnight, the Nasdaq Composite jumped 1.8 percent. The Dow Jones Industrial Average traded 0.6 percent higher, while the S&P 500 added 1.1 percent. Across the Atlantic, European markets closed higher. London's FTSE added 0.2 percent. Frankfurt gained 0.3 percent, while Paris closed 0.7 percent higher. Spot gold dropped 0.8% to 1,931 US dollars an ounce, and Brent crude rose 1.7% to $87.59 US cents a barrel. Well, that's all for our ASX of Breakfast Report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel signing off for now.